And here we go. This is the Battle City season, and we have got Bakura going up against Joey Wheeler. There are two players who... Did Joey play Bakura in... He did, didn't he? I'm not... I'm not imagining things. Or did Yugi play? Man, I really need to watch the Battle City Finals again. No, because Joey played Odeon. Then he played Marek, and he lost to Marek. Yeah. Man, I really need to watch the Finals again. It must have been Yugi then that played against Bakura. Because my played against Marek, and Kaiba played against Ishizu. Yeah, it's been a while. I in the uh, in the um, anime I have watched. I just watched the match with Joey and Weevil. Anyway, the duel. Uh, Bakura went with two face downs and a face down defense. Joey has gone with a face down. That is a rotten hand. There's not much at all that he can really do with it. Okay. Plays Protector of the Throne. <sighs> Alright, Bakura. Going on to turn three. Bakura. Oh, he goes for Tribute. And what is it? It is. Oh, Dark Ruler Hardez. Oh, and he tributed a Sangin, so he'll be able to draw another card from that as well. Nicely done, Bakura. Tell you what, though, you don't have much competition on the field. He draws a Maneater Bug. A Maneater Bug on flip effect can destroy a monster on the field. Joey does have Trap Hole of Spikes, though. So, Dark Ruler Hard Dez. 12.25 off Bakura's life points, so he's down to 67.75. Alright, return change back to Joey. He draws that fairy box card. That's been a fun card to watch so far in previous duels. Joey though is defended for the time being so he doesn't have to put fairy box down just yet. Is a costly card. Does require 500 points per turn. Okay, Bakura just passed his turn. Joey has drawn Masaki, the legendary swordsman. Yep, Joey will pass his turn, so neither Bakura or Joey really that keen on attacking right now. Bakura goes with another face down defense. And we know the sort of deck that Bakura has. He's content to sit there. As we see, the legendary fisherman has been drawn, and Joey will go play that on the field, so 1850. And, oh, trap hole, dang. Legendary Fisherman has just been shish kebobbed by that trap hole. Nowhere to go, maybe he'll be fossilized and they'll find him in 5,000 years when the pyramids were no longer young. As, oh, Monster Reborn, okay. Never forget the 5,000 years into the future to find Legendary Fisherman's fossilized carcass. He is back alive as Maneater Bug. He was flipped up and destroys Joey's face down, which was Guardian of the Throne. And, oh no, Goblin Zombie. If that does life point damage, the top card of Joey's deck is in the bin. What was it? It was... Ah, Panther Warrior. 2,000 attack. That could have actually protected Joey from getting attacked next turn. Instead, all he's got is Masaki the Legendary Swordsman as a monster. Instead, I mean, he will get a draw this turn. Joey needs something, and he needs it quick. Ah, oh, Flame Manipulator. It's a shame he doesn't have a polymerization. Because then he can play Skull Dice. 
Oh, graceful dice, sorry. Um, is he going to play it now? Uh, I guess he has to. He hasn't really got any choice. But he rolls a four. Not bad. 1500. Uh, and he goes after Goblin Zombie. Yeah, better to get that off the field so it doesn't do any more damage to Joey's deck. And oh my god. Sakureto armor. Joey has had no chance in this match. Bakura's deck is so evil, man. So evil. But Joey has no choice but to pass his turn. He does still have Fairy Box on the field, at least. And it's the final countdown. And no, not the song from the band Europe. It is the final countdown. Joey has 20 turns remaining on his clock, but it doesn't look like Joey's even going to last 20 turns. As Fairy Box is played, Joey needs this to succeed, otherwise we'll... He'll lose the top card of his deck, and he's managed to save the top card of his deck. Will it turn out to be a good one? Or should Goblin Zombie have just... ...hit the target? Okay, it is Legendary Fisherman. Going in for an attack. Ah, oh, and it's heads. Poor Joey. Well, he will get a draw in a second. We'll be able to see if that top card was at any use. No. It would have been better for Joey if Goblin Zombie had hit. Yeah, Flame Manipulator to attack mode. And okay, he's gone after Maneater Bug. Joey trying any sort of counterplay he can try and get. But I think this first match is in the bag for Bakura. It'll take a miracle for him to lose it from here. So Bakura now, four cards in hand. Joey, ah, remove trap. He's very box. He's in the bin. And Joey is beaten for this first match. He won't be able to to survive this one. And Skull Dice. Joey had nothing to counterplay anyway. As the Legendary Fisherman does the job. And we will proceed on to duel number two in this best of three. Joey will have to win two matches against this evil maniac that is Bakura. Bakura's Battle City deck, if he draws his good cards, he is very, very difficult to defeat. Burst Dream of Destruction. Huh, maybe that should be in Kyber's deck. It probably is in Kyber's deck somewhere down the line. Okay, Bakura wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors, and he elects to go first. After this match as well, we will see Jaden Yuki taking on Mako Tsunami. In the Battle City little mini-series, did one for Becca, and now we will do one for Jaden Yuki as well. Okay, that hand is absolute, besides Monster Reborn, that hand is absolute trash. That is, oh my word, poor Bakura. He has not drawn a good hand in this one. Although, Joey didn't really draw a good hand in the last duel, so I guess fair is fair. And it is Gear Freed the Iron Knight, and Bakura is going to take a direct attack straight off the bat here. It's an 1800 attack as well, which is one of the stronger ones you're going to get hit by. Ooh. There's Goblin Zombie. Did some damage in the last duel getting that Panther Warrior off the field. Oh, well, to the graveyard, sorry. Because if Joey was able to get that Panther Warrior to the field, he may have been able to defend for a little while. However, Joey now is the one with the advantage. There goes Goblin Zombie. We'll be able to get Gurnia to Bakura's hand. Okay, main phase two and to the end phase. Turn change 
Back to Bakura. Ooh, Dark Necrophere. Oh, he's a cool card. I like Dark Necrophere. Uh, Joey... Uh, sorry, Bakura has summoned Gurnia. Well, set Gurnia. You know, maybe one day I'll have a duel where I will get all of the speech correct. But... That will not be today. And we see Gurnia is attacked by Gearfreed the Iron Knight. Gearfreed at 1800. That's going to be tough for Bakura to get rid of. He's still got nothing in his hand that's offering anything counterplay wise. There's Yoranzo. It's another deck filler for Bakura that's been drawn. And he is really, really struggling here. Dark Designator. Can't really help Bakura in this situation either. And Yoranzo is attacked by Gearfreed. Next up, there's Dark Master Zork. Again, that is no good for Bakura. And look at this, he's having to use his Monster Reborn to try and protect his life points, which is quite incredible. Brings back Goblin Zombie, I guess. For what reason? I mean, Yoranzo has stronger defense, but I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Not against Gearfreed. Unless Pakora has another zombie with 1200 or less defense. I don't think he does. I think it's only Gurnia. Alright, face down from Joey. Three on the field. Still, six cards in hand for Joey, and he's only got one monster on the field. What's up with that? That's a, uh... It's interesting. Uh, it's always duels like this. What would we give right now to see what's in Joey's hand? There's Dark Mimic level three. When it's destroyed by battle, he'll be able to draw one card. If it's there from the effect of Dark Mimic level one, he could have drawn two, but that is not the case. Another face down for Joey. And 1800 destroys Dark Mimic. Oh, there's Lesser Fiend. Dang, if Bakura still had that monster reborn, he could have special summoned one back and then got Lesser Fiend. The Shallow Grave could have done it. However, Bakura can't play it because Joey doesn't have any monsters in his graveyard. Otherwise, Bakura this turn may have been able to summon Lesser Fiend. Joey, Joey doesn't have any cards in his graveyard. We're at turn 13 and Joey, Joey has not lost a single card. That may be a first. In fact, that may be a first ever. Has anyone ever gone 13 turns in a duel, now 14, and never and not had a card in their graveyard? We're not just talking about no monsters either, we're talking about no cards at all, and oh, okay, it comes to an end on this turn, it's Grave Robber is played. And oh dear, Joey has just stolen a monster reborn himself. There's not much to reborn though. Joey's played it anyway, he's... Okay, he's gone for Yoranzo. I guess it's another 1300 points off Bakura's life points, they're only at 6200 now. As well, Joey now with less life points than Bakura with the effect of Grave Robber. Oh, he's tributed. Oh, here we go. Guildford the Lightning. Joey's ace monster, or one of his ace monsters from Battle City. And, oh, he's played Lightning Blade. That's an 800 point buffer. 3,600. And have a look at that. Oh, and the legendary sword goes down as well. 3,900 attack points for Joey's Guildford the Lightning. And, oh boy, that's going to hurt. Oof, I wouldn't want to be Bakura right now. Ouch. Dang, 2,300 life points remaining now. Joey's still at 6,000, all self-inflicted from Grave Robber. There's Dark Artist. Bakura now could play... Um, could play that Shallow Grave card. 
Yeah, he just seen it. Unfortunately, even summoning Lesser Fiend now won't actually do anything. Although, if he did... If he did manage to get Lesser Fiend... No, oh, okay, good move. He's gone for Dark Mimic. That'll at least allow him to draw another card. Joey, though, will get a gear free the Iron Knight to the field. Which is bad for Bakora. But, I mean, Bakora has to try something. He's got nothing else. It'd be great if he could draw one of his rituals. Or well, maybe not now. Although Zork's effect could get rid of... He'd have to be lucky, but in theory it could happen. The Chef the Dark Being, does he have an effect? I don't remember. I would have to see his card text again. And a Battle Warrior. Just a 700 attack. Up goes Gear Freed. And this one is looking like it could be going to a third and final match. Dark Artist has been attacked. Battle Warrior goes for the attack. Oh, he selected... He selected Guildford to do the attack instead, so that will... I mean, Pecora will take a little bit of damage, but I mean... That Dark Mimic wouldn't have been destroyed anyway. Wait, does Guildford get to attack again? Wait, but... Wait, so Battle Warrior's attack is still like the monster that gets used from the effect of that trap card. Guildford was targeted as the attack, but Guildford gets to still do it a second at oh, well. Oof, I tell you what, Bakura may have thrown that. I don't think it would have mattered in the end either way. Bakura was completely lost, but wow, okay, that trap card. If you select the monster to attack, it doesn't actually take their attacking turn away. That is, that's a little, uh, that's, that's probably what Bakura was trying to go for there, to get, otherwise he might have lasted another turn, for what good it would have done, but, but we will go to a third and final match in this one. Bakura now going to be looking for some revenge. That, uh, that trap card, that, that's a bit of an odd one. That, but it didn't bypass the uh, attack for Guildford in that turn. I guess in theory, Battle Warrior did initiate the attack, so it is still technically his his uh, turn, his attack command, isn't it? But Joey, again, has not drawn a fantastic hand. To be honest, Joey's Battle City deck it's a bit of a hokey one, to be honest. He's got that Time Wizard. He doesn't really want to get rid of Time Wizard, though. He plays down Gamble. Now, in terms of starting hands, that is an absolute shocker from Joey. All right, to the end phase. All right, what has Bakura got here? That dice re-roll. Again, that's a bit of an oddity of a card as well. There's Sangin. Oh, and the Headless Knight. 1450 and 1000, that'll combine together to make 2450. Mecha Jason's favourite card, the Headless Knight. He's not on about if there will ever be a match between the Bean Soldier and the Headless Knight. I would find a way to make the Bean Soldier win, don't worry about that. The haunted spirit of a falsely accused knight who wanders in search of truth and justice. Hey, Fairy Box. Oh, interesting. So what will Joey go for here? Will he go for Time Wizard's effect? It looks like he might have to, because he has literally got nothing else. A roulette spider. Yeah, okay, roulette spider is played, and Time Wizard will go for its effect. Heads or tails? 
And it is... Ah, oh, Joey gets it for once. How many times has he failed with the Time Wizard in the past? Numerous. Sangin's effect will still activate, though. And Bakura draws Earthbound Spirit. So, 2,000 defense. I don't know if... Bakura probably could have drawn something to attack with. He might have something else in his hand as well. 2,000 defense is never a bad thing, though. Alright, Bakura, five cards in hand. Joey with four face downs. So that's got to be concerning for Bakura, at least. Who goes with a face down defense? Okay, so he's elected not to attack the time wizard. Or maybe. I mean, he could have pulled something with Sangan. Maybe he would have. Maybe he just prefers the defense instead. Protector of the throne is put in defense. So Joey electing not, I guess, to equip her with Lightning Blade. And time wizard to defense mode. Joey does still have Fairy Box on the field as well, so he is safe from attacks. Maybe wanting Bakura to try to get some more monsters on the field to try and use the effect of Time Wizard again. Joey. Oh, there's Garuzis. So he will tribute protector, protector of the throne. Okay, and will he go in for the offensive? If it is Earthbound Spirit. Garuzis won't win. There's Trap Hole. Okay, Garuzis will be destroyed. Interesting. So, Bakura. I wonder what is in his hand. What is he planning? He's got six cards in hand now. And Oh, the Illusory Gentleman. Okay. So, he has something to attack the Time Wizard now. And he goes for Fairy Box. Now, he does have Roulette Spider, but Roulette Spider is also a very risky card. Oh. He got the effect of Time Wizard. Oh, of Fairy Box, sorry. Fairy Box did not come through. Joey doesn't have a second attempt at playing that Roulette Spider. Roulette Spider, you can halve your life points. It's a very risky card to play, but... Time Wizard is gone. There's Battle Warrior. Joey pays 500 life points to keep that Fairy Box on the field. Now Battle Warrior is a thousand defense. There is Shield and Sword in Joey's hand. So what's he gonna do? There's Shield and Sword. If he equips it with Lightning Blade, he should go up to 1800. It shouldn't go onto his defense, as that being its original attack. It should be 1800. Attack it is. All right, good play by Joey. Using the shield and sword to get the best of Illusory Gentleman. Who's now in the graveyard. The core at 7300, Joey at 5050. But with Fairy Box up, Joey is likely going to have to try and keep that on the field. As long as he can, he wouldn't want to get rid of Fairy Box. Oh no, Dark Sanctuary. It's going to be very, very tough for Joey to win this now. And Bakura straight to his end phase, so not even electing to attack. Okay, here goes Joey. He's, he's going to have to attack Bakura eventually. Ah, oh dear. But that one fizzles out. I mean, Joey has to attack to win. And it's going to be almost impossible with that Fiend Sanctuary on the field. That Fiend Sanctuary, that is such a broken card. I can't believe that card is not banned. As we see Monster Reborn from Bakora. And this has just gone from bad to worse for Joey now. Garuzis looks like it's going to make a return. And to the battle phase. There's Fairy Box, and Joey has to hope for the best here. Oh, he doesn't get it. So it's declared an attack, and we're now 
now in the battle step. I think that's why Woolet Spider can't activate here. But Battle Warrior is beaten, and there goes Lightning Blade as well. Only card in hand now is Flame Manipulator. And this isn't looking good for Joey at all. He really needs... He really needs something out of the out of the heart of the cards from here. Oh, it's Guildford of the Light. Uh, sorry, Guildford of the Legend again. The card that he used to absolutely pulverize Bakura in the last match. I mean, even if Joey could get Guildford the lightning to the field it'd still be very risky to attack with it'd be almost half of Joey's life points if he got it wrong fairy box activates there's dice reroll and there we go ah it's a three choose one monster you control change your attack target and perform damage calculation There's the effect of Fairy Box. Wait, doesn't Joey get a chance to re-roll the dice? He, sh he should have had an option to re-roll the dice there, shouldn't he? With dice re-roll, he rolled a dice, he didn't get a good number, doesn't he get a re-roll? Okay. There was no prompt for it, and it looks like he didn't get the option for it. I would have rolled it again. I wonder if that dice that dice reroll. Sorry, my hands in the way of the mic. That dice reroll card. That is a strange card. I have seen Joey try and use that after he's rolled a dice. It didn't work. He's just tried it beforehand, rolling a dice, and it didn't work. Maybe he has to roll it when the dice is rolled or something. That dice reroll card is tricky. I don't. No, even though I don't think it's going to make any difference. Again, I think Joey is about to lose. I mean, he's still got Fairy Box. He's got Nutrient Z on the field now as well. If he gets 2,000 or more points of damage coming his way, he'll be able to get 4,000 life points. But no, this one, oh, 1,800. Joey down to 700 life points, and Portrait Secret can end it here. Fairy Box, Joey is only going for Tails. Oh, he's protected. Possibly only for one last turn. As soon as Bakura gets that Fiend Sanctuary to the field, he is very, very tough to beat. Joey will have to pay 500 life points, I guess, to keep Fairy Box on the field. It'll put him down to 200. But Bakura is just head and shoulders in front here. Hey, this mighty lizard man can swing his sword so fast that it's more than the speed of sound. What a great card description. And Dark Sanctuary, Joey's gone in for an attack. Ah, oh, Sakuretsuwama. I mean, Bakura possibly could have won it there if he really, if Joey got it wrong. Oh, and he wouldn't have, he got the coin toss right. Or did Bakura get it right on heads? Um, either way, it doesn't matter. Sakuretsuwama, but Bakura can go in for an attack here. He flips up Dark Mimic, and we'll draw another card. No, he won't. No, that has to be destroyed by battle. Never mind. And... Oh, it was Earthbound Spirit that he had all that time. Oh, exchange... Oh my god, Joey's gonna lose Guildford. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, there's two Destiny Board cards in... One with Dark Door, and that Trap card again, that I don't like. Okay. Oh, is Bakura going to summon Joey's own Guildford, the Lightning, to the field and attack Joey with it? Oh, he is. Oh, brutal. Bakura has just taken Joey's monster that he used in the last duel to defeat him with. But will this mean... Joey... 
So Guildford is going in for an attack. Joey has that... Oh, Fairy Box failed. And Joey will be able to protect himself with Nutrient Z. That actually worked out better for Joey. He's, he's actually activated Nutrient Z after Bakura stole his card. Oh, here's Garuzis. Joey will have to get Fairy Box right. And he doesn't. Well, this match was... Oh, this match was... How do you even describe a match like that? But in the end, Bakura gets a win. That Dark Sanctuary card is just too strong, especially for a deck like Joey's where you want to focus on some attacking. Jaden Yuki going up against Mako Tsunami coming up as well. Uh, who's playing tomorrow? Um, in Battle City, it's Weevil against Loomis and Umbra. That should be absolute garbage. But they do have to play themselves anyway. Anyway, Jaden Yuki's match coming up after this one. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in wherever you are in the world. Stay safe. Take care. Farewell.